Welcome to part four of chapter eight. In this part, we're going to look at density and do some calculations with that. So density is what we call a derived unit. That means it, it's made of two other units um, or, or some other units. In this case, it's two. And so density is defined as mass divided by volume. Okay, so it's if, if you have a certain mass of something, then it will take up that much volume when you um, when you measure it. And so it is an intensive physical property. Intensive physical property means that it's independent of how much you have. So density, the density of a substance will always be the same if you have a ton of it or if you just have a gram of it. Um, Mass and volume are um, are what we use physical property wise to calculate the density of the material. The extensive physical property is dependent on the amount. Okay, so the intensive physical property um, is. Um, by definition, independent of how much you have to use, okay? So this is an example problem of mercury. Mercury is one of the most dense liquids that we, that we know of. Um, and so it has actually, um, density has, has a dense, I'm sorry, mercury has a density of 13.6 grams per cubic centimeter. One thing that we need to remember is a cubic centimeter is the same thing as a milliliter. Okay, so if you see those, you can use those interchangeably. And so the nice thing about having density is if we know the density of something, then we can either go, we, it's kind of like a bridge between the world of mass and the world of volume. And so if, if, if I'm wanting to know what the mass is, if I have 95 milliliters of mercury and I know the density, then I can use that. And basically, I can say that 95 milliliters times, and I use this as what we call a conversion factor, okay, 13.6 grams of mercury in one cubic centimeter. And I know that cubic centimeter is the same thing as a milliliter. And then that allows me to um, do that calculation. And so density is something that's, that is, you're gonna use quite a bit in chemistry and it's very useful to be able to do that. So when we take that 95, um, and I said, you know, that a cubic centimeter is the same as a milliliter. So that means it's the same as 95 cubic centimeters. And so you can do it the way I did it, or you can actually take the density formula, which is M over V. And since you know the density and the volume, you're gonna be solving for M. You can rearrange this. And if you need some practice rearranging, um, I have a little bit of practice for you on Blackboard. But when you rearrange that, then M is going to be equal to D times V. And so the D times V, which is 13.6 times 95, gives you 1292. And remember, we always have to do our significant figures. So we got two significant figures and three and since we're multiplying we're going to have two in our answer so our answer comes out to 1.3 times 10 to the third now some of these um, problems have a lot of words in them okay um, and I know people hate word problems okay <laughs> I get it um, but the key to working a word problem is to go through and pull the numbers out okay so when I go through and I'm reading something okay man gets a ring for his fiance it's supposed to be made out of platinum okay platinum sounds like that might be important all right before the wedding he notices the ring feels a little light for its size and decides to measure its density he places the ring on a balance and finds that it has a mass of 3.15 grams I'm gonna go write that down because that sounds like something I can use 
he then finds that the ring displaces 0.233 cubic centimeters of water. That's a volume, okay? So the volume it's displacing is 0 0.233 cubic centimeters. Is the ring made of platinum? Now, what it's asking me basically is what's the density of this ring? And is the density the same as what I see on this table right here, which is 21.4 grams per cubic centimeter? So if I want to know what the density of this is, I know density is mass over volume. So the density would be 3.15 grams divided by 0 0.233 cubic centimeters, or same thing as milliliter, right? And so if I do that math, I'm going to see that it's 13.5 grams per cubic centimeter. That ain't 21.4. So somebody got ripped off uh, because the density of that ring was only 13.5 and it should have been 21.4. So somebody mixed some cheap metal in there and ripped this girl off. So in the for practice, um, since she's shocked that the ring is fake and returns it, she buys a new ring. And the new ring has a volume of 0 0.212 cubic centimeters. And if the new ring is platinum, what would be the mass? So the mass this time is what I'm wondering. Well, what's that other piece of information that I know? I know the density. I know the density should be 21.4 grams per cubic centimeter. So if if d equals m over v and m then equals d times v just rearranged it so the mass should be equal to 21.4 grams per cubic centimeter times 0 0.212 cubic centimeters and so that mass should be 4.54 grams. So when she weighs that ring this time, it should weigh 4.54 grams. I'm going to give you a little hint on this for more practice one. Uh, because in this one, you're, you're, getting the, you're getting the cubic um, cubic meters, right? So if you have a cube, that means that all the sides are the same. And so in this case, they're 11.4 millimeters. I suggest you change that to centimeters. Okay. And then since all sides are the same, it's going to be um, whatever the centimeters are, length time, width time, height, they're all the same. So um, whatever the centimeters are, you can cube those or multiply times times three times and then you have the mass and then you can see um, what the density is and find out what the identity of the metal is okay so that is density and calculating density in various ways and using that formula by rearranging it